this is the final recording of 7761 Bassett Circle, Kissimmee, Florida at the Windsor Hills Resort in Kissimmee. This video is going to show how we, we left the place and I'll detail some of the problems that we found when we arrived here. First of all, getting into the um, doorway is quite difficult because although you get a number for the key box, the key is very old and rusty and difficult to work the door. The first obvious problem was that there's a total lack of information about how to use um, facilities in the villa. And there is a DVD, but the DVD player doesn't actually work. It doesn't have a remote control, and when you try and play it, it just stops and starts. The TV it's not bad, it cuts out occasionally for a few seconds then comes on again. We don't watch much TV so we can live with that. The sofas are fairly poor condition, well worn, no pillows. This villa has six bedrooms. It's designed to sleep a maximum of 12 people. Well, there's a dining table that you could put six people round if there was six chairs, which there aren't, there's five chairs. So I, as we only had four of us, there's enough room and that's fine, but certainly not for 12 as they um, say. This is a villa marketed by top villas in the UK. It certainly isn't a top villa, it's not bad, but it's not a top villa. The condition is not good enough. Um, this is a old rag that was provided as a wiping up cloth, it's a threadbare item which I wouldn't give the time of day. The sink is a very poor quality sink when you use the waste disposal unit it shakes because the stainless steel is so thin. The cooker has been replaced since we've been here because the one on arrival had two elements, uh, that's two top plate elements, broken and one was positively dangerous. The china is very limited in what they provide for you, um, certainly not enough for 12, and a fair amount of it is chipped. The edge of the cupboards, the veneer is coming off as you can see, so poor quality again. Uh, the glasses is just a mishmash of glasses from the past, sets of glasses that have probably got broken and then got replaced with different styles, so again not the quality of a top villa. Nice fridge freezer, shame it wasn't cleaned up very well when we arrived here. Uh, toaster's absolutely fine, dishwasher's fine, cutlery drawer, very poorly stocked. Two teaspoons, about five ta um, dessert spoons, lots of forks, a few knives, very poor quality, very thin and bendy. The knife block, quite a few knives missing from it and they aren't particularly sharp. The laundry room is absolutely fine, nice washing machine, nice tumble dryer. Uh, the rugs, very dirty, I doubt whether they've seen a carpet cleaner for many, many months. Same with the one here, and that's the same throughout. The actual swimming pool is really nice, no problem here. Um, slight problem on how to use the hot tub because they don't give you any information, although it might be on the DV, I can't, DVD, I can't tell you that. But it does get up to a good temperature, providing you've paid for pool heating and no problems at all. Again, hardly enough chairs out here for 12 people and the chair quality is very poor, dirty, grubby. You can probably see if I show you a close up that along the edge here, they're starting to split. Someone's going to go through that one day. The blinds at the window, again, very, very poor quality. Quite typical of villas in Florida, mind you. The strips have been repaired many times and occasionally fall off. 
when we came here the phone wasn't working it took them five days to get the phone working uh, which is pretty poor um, a whole mishmash of electronic stuff on the top with no instructions as to what any of it's for and oh by the way the cooker, the cooker took them six days to replace as well in the bedroom that we used that light and that light do not work again doesn't bother us but again shows that the maintenance manager Steve is certainly not doing his job very well the actual bath en suite is fine the shower is fine the bath is fine one of the sinks drains away quite slowly the other one's okay toilets are fine cleansiness is not particularly good in this villa um, although the, the surfaces are generally clean when we looked under the sofas and the and the beds there's clutter there old shampoo bottles old sweets um, just basically not uh, thorough clearing up at all I think they just go over it very superficially and um, top villas in the UK they we emailed them a number of times they never replied I think they expect you to take any problems up with the maintenance manager Steve unfortunately Steve is not very efficient and um, he can be contacted at info at signature villas orlando.com but although he never replied to the email, he did actually come round eventually and replace the cooker. But um, the other thing we found when we came in here was the drawer unit in the bedroom was broke. The drawers were, two or three of the drawers were broken of this unit. I'll probably have to turn the light on. And they did actually come round and repair those. But all these things should have been checked before we arrived. And it's wrong that I should have to phone up on a Friday evening. Um, and although I did manage to speak to Steve, he certainly wasn't prepared to do anything until the following week. Well, when you pay this sort of money for a, a villa like this, you would expect them to recognise their problems that they haven't checked the villa adequately enough before they come in and they could have actually sorted these problems out a bit sooner than they did. As I say, many of the problems haven't been sorted out. The games room could be really nice. Um, it's got a table football game, which is fine. We've had a lot of fun on that and the billiard table. But unfortunately, two of the queues have been broken. We did tell them that in an email when we first arrived. They never bothered to replace it. They left us with one good one and one sort of classic -y one which is just about adequate. Oh that's the cooker they replaced as well. You can see the element at the front was, is coming up and was positively dangerous. The lighting in the games room is diabolical. Um, there's only one central light which is really just for the garage they could do with some strip lighting. You can use these lights here, but they aren't very good. It's a low level of light. And in the, the corner here is old broken furniture that they just leave here. Uh, some, some swimming stuff for the pool, lilo and other accessories, absolutely fine, no problem. So my conclusion is, if you want to let a villa as a top villa get a good maintenance company and do check it out yourself because they just haven't done that and i think if they did that and they spent a few hundred dollars on some new china cutlery and corrected all the problem minor minor problems it would actually be quite a nice villa but until then i couldn't really recommend it and just to reiterate the main maintenance company is SignatureVillasOrlando.com. I keep well away from them if I were you. And the letting company in the UK is the TopVillas.com. Again, I wouldn't be too impressed with what they say. They obviously don't really understand what uh, type of villas they're letting out. Thank you.